On this video you can see how we expand the reproducible micro glide path with the Pro Glider instrument, a single progressively tapered rotary instrument for glide path enlargement. It is important to note that most of the research studies favor first using the Pro Glider instrument to expand the glide path before canal preparation with the Pro Taper Neck system. Here is an example of a study done by Baruti et al. in 2014 that demonstrated that by first using the Pro Glider instrument to expand the glide path, it will reduce the stress when shaping the canal with Pro Taper Next X1, ensuring more safety and predictability during canal preparation. Now we can look at the second part of the root canal preparation process, namely canal preparation with the Pro Taper Next system. The first instrument of the ProTaper Neck system to use after glide path preparation will be the X1. In the presence of sodium hypochlorite, brush and follow along the glide path with the 1704 ProTaper Next X1 instrument in one or more passes until working length is reached. If after a few coronal insertions progress is not being made towards working length, then remove the file. This is followed by a sequence of first irrigation to remove the cutting debris from the root canal. Followed by a recapitulation with a pre-curved size 10k file taking to working length or patency or patency. The file is moved in and out of the canal to ensure that any compacted debris is loosened up and the canal stay patent. Lastly, this is followed by re-irrigation to remove the dislodged debris, leaving the canal patent and ready for the next cutting cycle. Before we proceed, it is also important to clean the cutting flutes of the instrument. Here you can see the typical loading pattern of debris on the flutes if the, can, if the file was used in a wet canal. I like to use a sponge to remove the cutting debris from the flutes. On the right hand side, you can see that all the debris have been removed and the file is ready to be reinserted into the root canal for the next cutting cycle. In most cases, the X1 will reach working length during the cut second cutting cycle. The file is allowed to carefully work its way down to working length in each canal as you can see on this video clip using the same technique as described before. When the file feels loose at working length, it is removed from the canal. This is again followed by a cycle of irrigation, recapitulation and re-irrigation. We are now ready to introduce the next instrument, the 2506 ProTaper Next X2. I want to share with you a clinical tip that you can use as a guideline to check if you have done an adequate job with the X1. If you introduce the X2, and it is short of working length with a distance of about 1 to 3 mm, as you can see on this slide, you can assume that you've done an adequate job with the Pro Taper Next X1 instrument. However, if you introduce the X2 and you are about 5 to 6 mm short of working length, you have to go back and create more space with the X1, otherwise I find that we tend to overstress the X2 to get it down to full working length. If you follow my guideline as outlined on the previous slide, then in most cases the X2 will reach full working length in one or two passes. Again, irrigate, recapitulate and re-irrigate the canal to remove cutting debris. The next step will be to gauge the foramen. With, size, with a size 25 night tie hand file. If the file is snug at length, the canal is shaped and ready for final disinfection. When we deal with wider canals, for example the palatal root canal in this clinical case of Andrew, we often find that the X1 will follow along the light path in the presence of sodium hypochlorite and usually in one cutting cycle it will easily reach working length. The canal is irrigated, recapitulated and re-irrigated. 
Now we introduce the X2, the 2506 instrument, in the presence of sodium hypochlorite. You will notice again that the X2 is used in a brushing motion to free up coronal space that will allow the file to progress further down the root canal. If it fails to progress, remove the instrument, clean the flutes and the canal with irrigation, recapitulation and re-irrigation before you proceed with another cutting cycle. After preparation with the X2, the foramen is again gauged with a size 25 night tie hand file. If the file fits snug at length, the canal is shaped and ready for disinfection. If the size 20 hand file is loose at length and it can go past working length as we can see on this video clip, it is recommended to continue shaping with larger instruments. In this case, we elected to continue shaping with the Pro Taper Next X3, the 3007. And when necessary, you can even follow up with the Pro Taper Next X4, 4006, or the X5, the 5006. Gauging after each instrument with, with a size 30, 40, or 50 night eye hand file, respectively.